So I've said what I've said about the whole issue of RICO facilities. I, you know, they're called church. They are just a bunch of places. And I've been kicked out of them too, so I should have harsher feelings towards them, right? Like, I've got some kind of animosity toward them or need to make amends because I get kicked out because I tell the truth about these places. They're mediator between Jesus Christ, God, and God, or God the Father, they like to call it, or Lord God, is dollars. One of the first things they're going to talk about with regard to running a church is finances, and finances is all about, is all about dollars. I talk about dollars being the, the, the white man's supremacy, white supremacy, white man's money that was created in 1797 for the advancement of more white supremacy. These churches are just... I, I said that they are wicked and evil and filthy in which way possible. <laughs> Before, today's the 31st day of the year, 2023. It's worse than what I've been explaining. Oh my God. It's been a long time since I talked about this on my YouTube channel, so... Here we are talking about it again. Look at this beautiful view. What's up, baby? <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Now, I mean, I don't mean myself. Just to be the back there. Well, the palm trees are to the side here. It's funny. I don't have any palm trees, I think, in the background. They're on the side. So, <laughs> a good example, a good, just a horrible, horrible situation is... So I went to the Calvary. It's called Calvary on... I want to say 40, Florida 40, Granada, West Granada Boulevard in Ormond Beach. Ormond Beach is a retirement community, you hear me? <laughs> and then of course, um, there's a place called, oh damn, I forgot, I forgot the name of it already. Tomoka Christian Church right on the border of Daytona Beach and Holly Hill in Big Money Ormond Beach. They're making a point be being in Ormond Beach. It's a retirement community. We'll stay in the area where it's considered municipal area. They're preying on people who are living on reti retirement money. It's sick. I was talking to a man, an Uber driver or Lyft, one of those two, right? And I'm like, so wait a minute, what, what, what city is this? Is this Tomoka? And we drove, just drove by, I think it's called Hand or something like that, the name of the street, H A N D. And, um, so yeah, this, this is in Ormond Beach, both of these, and Prince of Peace, too. That's a Lutheran church, I think. Or, Catholic light or something. Not super Catholic, but I like Prince of Peace because my family and I, we, we um, got good vibes from them when we were working on Personhood Florida back in 2009. It's 2023 already? Really? Wow. Time has been flying by. So you got these two big money, and they're big, big money. Just Calvary Church. I think they're getting a lot of money from... Um, the, the county to house homeless we, we are itching the right nostril this time usually it's the left side but got the right side this time <laughs> so I don't know how absorbent an amount of dollars are getting from the county but you gotta believe they're getting something they pick them up in this big they pick up the homeless on two different streets, I think, maybe just one, I don't know, but I guess they announced it somehow to people living on the streets that they're going to be, well, probably they've been doing this for so long, they would already know, I guess. They get in these buses, and they get sent out to 95, I-95, which is right where that, I-95 and West Granada, which is that church, Calvary Church. They drop them off out there, they get some food for the morning. I, I I went to where they were. 
And I know more about this than most people because of my ministry. You can see my company called Cast and that Incorporated. You gotta spell it incorporated in uh, business filings of, of Ohio. Uh, Secretary of State's website. We, we, we would never even think about asking anybody for dollars, first of all. If we got dollars from somebody, fine. We, we did, you can see on the video. It's them. It's, it's, it's people wanting to just... You gotta be very careful. I've always been very, very strict about my operations, dealings, it's the way I live my life around elderly because they're oftentimes a, a purpose, an on purpose kind of kind of yeah we got a pastor by here <laughs> target they're a target you hear me it's almost as though people are targeting them. What do we see back there? I don't know. So, and they oftentimes don't like. I'm I'm disabled, and I didn't know until recently that I was so heavily, severely exploited in my life. So the elderly and and disabled persons under eight section eight twenty five point one zero two of the Florida Code. These people are the most targeted right now. The heaviest crime right now against anybody is crimes against elderly and disabled right now in Florida. Other than the COVID stuff, there's still a lot of crimes involved in that shit. But this is sick, what these churches are doing. These RICO facilities. Like, I call it RICO because it's Racketeering Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act. Racketeering influenced, which means they're basically just making up their own... Oh, there are children back there running around. I didn't know that. School's out. And I'm out here, so people are... I'm, in, I'm living in a community now. Well, duh. The I mean, we're always living in a community somehow, right? But this is like a... community with children and quite a few elders, like probably late 70s, late 80s. I wouldn't be surprised if some people here in the 90s. Whatever the case is, okay, but the situation is these churches, they're, they're in the memberships, that's what they are. They don't allow just anybody in there. You gotta be a member and join them in, in their way that they're gonna act like they're following a certain dogma or doctrine or teaching or belief but it's a matter of how you're going to be giving dollars to them. And they are preying on the elderly. That's why. Well, of course, they've got more dollars that have been given to them through inheritances. I'm 43 years old. When you get to like 55 and 65 and 75, somewhere along in your life, you're going to get these inheritances of dollars. Which, why? I've been wondering, why the hell isn't the government doing anything about these places? And they have... Certain sheriffs have gone after certain big name fake healers and chased them off. Like Benny Hinn. I love Benny Hinn, but he's, he's chased out of Orlando. Oh, just being persecuted for righteousness sake. No, these motherfuckers are, are targeting. I went to that church, Calvary, and they're, you know, with my eyesight, I couldn't see. I can't verify this. Who was putting money into the the box, the ba the baskets when they're being passed around, but the reality is this: they're in communities where I'm not kidding you. The average age is like 55 to 65, y'all. Average. The reason why it's so average is because. You can have one, two, three, four, five, ten year olds. But then you got like 80, 90 year olds. A lot. So. And then New Smyrna Beach is another one. They're just looking for dollars, these people. These damn fucking churches. 
And I'm surprised that, that you don't have, you know, policias looking into these things to, you know, keep the dollar strong to watch out for these thugs who are chasing dollars. Oh. They're in retirement communities, y'all. I mean, this Volusia County, if you wonder why Volusia County is so fucking poor and broke, such low income, Daytona Beach, well, you got the racetrack there, anywhere, Talladega, any, any, Charlotte, any, anywhere, you've got a racetrack, and you got money out here, don't get me wrong, you got the New Smyrna Beach, and you got the Ormond Beach, Ormond by the Sea, Ponce Inlet, you got the money here, but the values for homes is so low, I think it's the NASCAR making it so low, on top of that, it's, it's now I, I want one ministry I like a lot is Raven Ministries in Daytona Beach. They are looking for the lost and broken. The lost and broken are in those churches, Tomoka and Calvary. I can't believe people even f around with those places. It's weird. Hey, I I, I was invited by a, a man I've been I've known for about a month now. He likes it. I'll go check it out for the first time. It's been a while since I've been in a mega church, you know. Just wicked stuff, y'all. Volusia County. Wow. And they've got so many transients in Daytona Beach. You'd think that... And there are organizations that do things. You'd think there'd be more out there for... Solutions to the problems that they have. I mean, Daytona Beach is a city loaded with sober houses. I lived in one. It wasn't sober. 34, 32 people there. I was one of four people who wasn't using illegal drugs or alcohol. And I was the only person who wasn't using cigarettes among the other four people. And obviously no um, medicinal weed too, because one of the four was allowed to use two, three, four, five, one of five. <laughs> I wasn't there that long though, but it's just nice to be in a community where you think you're gonna be like, it's gonna be clean, right? Whatever. Um, I'm, I'm just warning y'all about this stuff, you know, it's, it's worse than I thought it was. It's worse than I made it out to be. They really get tight with their dollars, I'll tell you, they really get into that stuff. Anyway, Calvary is now down to one service per day. They did have two at one point, but COVID messed them up. Aww. These fuckers. <laughs> Let's see this view though again. Oh, oh my god, look at this. Wow. Here we go. I don't seem so, you know, all about me now. Just beautiful. Let's look at that. Retention pond is what it is. Wow, we're the way along. 14 minutes. Alright, we out, y'all.